Hey the graphic designers. Today we're going to take a look at selecting and masking. Um, we're going to break this down into two separate videos. The first one is going to be with the selection tools and then the second one will be on how to mask and what exactly it does. Um, like with all our images we're going to start by making a copy of that background layer by clicking and dragging it down to that new layer button and hiding that original one. Also making sure that we are in RGB mode. Now we have six different selection tools that we're going to sort of go through quickly here. The first one is your lasso tool. You can see that it's sort of that freehand sketching tool to take and make a selection. So if I click on it and I come down over here, I just sort of get a general selection of the object. So it's not really sticking to any of the colors, it's just sort of working around the outside and it's a way of getting a quick rough selection. Okay. Remember that control D is the deselect. My next one on here is a polygonal lasso tool. This one just uses all straight lines. So every time that I click with that polygon tool, it adds another line to it. If I hit backspace, it'll move me back if I want to take and um, fix anything up here. Once I get around to the start where I want to be again, I can either come to the endpoint right there and a little circle will show up just like it did in Illustrator, or I can hit the enter button and it'll connect those two for me. Again, control D to deselect. Third one is the magnetic lasso tool. This one's a little bit more useful than the regular lasso or the polygonal. This one here will stick to the differences in colors. So as I go along here, it's sensing the difference between that tan area and this weird animal thing that I got. And it's going to try and um, stay where it's supposed to stay. Now, just like the polygonal lasso tool, if I mess up, I can hit that backspace and it'll move me back. Or if a point is not quite going where it's supposed to go, I can also click the mouse button and it'll drop points where I want them to be. So we can work our way around. If we hit escape, it will completely cancel and get rid of the entire selection for me. And right now we're not looking for necessarily a perfect selection. We're just sort of looking for the best rough selection we can get. So that's a pretty good start there. Uh, a couple of the other tools. The magic wand, we've talked about how it works with the tolerance up here and taking and clicking and choosing a selection. You can notice that all of these selection tools have the add, subtract, and uh, new selection up here. So even with these magnetic lassos, they're all, they're all still up here. Um, another good one is this quick selection. This is one that I use a lot. These icons have changed, but it's still the same thing, making a new, adding, and subtracting. Um, the way that this one is going to work is exactly sort of like the magic wand where we have a brush size, we can make it larger or smaller, but it works like the magic wand in the sense that it looks for colors that are similar to it. So there's not a tolerance up here, but when I click, it looks for colors that are similar. And with this one, I'm holding the mouse down and I'm able to drag. And as I drag this, brush up and down it's looking for colors that are similar so if I come along here it's sort of already shot down to there for me and that gives me a pretty good selection here last one that we have is the object selection tool the way that this one works is we sort of make a and we can change the way that our selection works right here whether it's a lasso or a rectangle but if I take and I make a rough selection of something, that object selection is going to sort of try and determine what it is you're looking at selecting right here. And that'll become selected here. You can see that we missed out some of this down in here. Some of this might not be perfect. So with the selection tools, we can always filter back and forth between them. So if I want to come to the quick selection now and make sure that I'm on add, I could come in here and bring some of this back for that fin there. Or if I want to zoom in, I can come over here, go to subtract, make that brush even smaller, 
and try and get rid of a little bit of that that's in there. So all of these selection tools can be used with each other by selecting them and then just making sure that you're either on that add or subtract depending on what you're trying to take and do.